hello guys welcome to crnt designers chetan here in this tutorial we are going to create a table line so are you ready for it let's get started here i have reference image i will give the link of this reference image in the description box so don't worry about it so add a cylinder and try to follow the reference image you can see the reference images okay Go to the edit mode and start to build the stand. Extrude and give the proper shape. First, try to the achieve the shape of this lamp, and then you can add the cut loops, uh, cut loops, not the cut loops, loop cuts, and try. Uh, you can get the proper shape of the stand. Okay. So start to build the stand, which is a very easy process. You just need to follow this reference image, okay? <laughs> now you can start to add the loop cuts to achieve the proper shape, okay? Just add loop cuts wherever you are necessary. You think that there is a loop cut uh, here is a loop cut is necessary. There you can add the loop cuts and you can you will get the shape. You can uh, make a different shape with the loop cuts. Okay, it's totally in your hand. So here we have got our stand shape. Now shade smooth it and turn on auto smooth. Then add a subdivision surface modifier, increase its limits to and then add a bevel modifier. Bevel modifier should be top of the subdivision surface modifier. Keep this thing in your mind and then add an amount 0 0.005. Then turn it to the angle and there you go. And then add a loop cuts to tighten the edges and to achieve the perfect shape as according to a reference image. And just keep this thing in your mind that you need to add the loop cuts wherever are necessary. Okay. If you want a close uh, tight edge, then you need to add the loop cuts uh, very tight. That time you need to give them higher factor. Okay. you can see fact, uh, point 0.9 if you give the point 0.9 factor then your loop cut means your edge will be more tight so this thing is very important So with the help of loop cuts, we can achieve our stand shape. So the reference image is important to creating a such kind of real photorealistic object. So I have given the link of this reference images in the description. You can download it from that particular site. By the way that was the e-commerce website so just, uh, just you need to go and uh, take these uh, reference images.
with this method you can create your own lamp table lamp very easily and you can achieve uh, take that photorealistic render in blender You can play with the loop cuts and try to achieve something new thing. Then insert the space. Press I. I is a shortcut key for insert face. And here our lamp stand is ready. Now we are going to create the other parts of the table lamp. So you can see here we have reference image, and you can see the the extrude extrude part on the top of the lamp stand. So I'm going to create first upon that and then I will move to the next part which is a metal piece then bulb and then uh, head of the lamp so first I'm going to create that extruded part and there is one uh, there is another one piece which is very small you can see in the reference image it is a large so it is very easy to create actually we don't need to create it to create that extrusion part and then I'm going to create the metal piece so for that I need a cylinder and go to edit mode and adjust the size of the cylinder and then I'll start to add the loop cuts to achieve the proper shape okay it's very easy then add a bevel and increase its edges to get the smooth uh, effect and then you just need to delete its upper face okay and loop cuts and then you don't need to do this insert this just delete that face and then place the metal piece at the right place and then add a solidify modifier to give its thickness and then shear smooth and Turn on the normals and add a bevel modifier 0.005 amount and turn it to the anchor. Then add subdivision surface modifier and give its uh, limits, bevel limits to the two increase it. Then there you go, your metal piece is ready within two minutes. Then we need a nut. How to create it? We don't need to create it. We have one add-on. We need to enable it. It is a bold factory add-on. Just enable it and then you can add the nut. Okay, which is very easy fix the nut at uh, its right place adjust its scale okay now we will try to add some modifiers on this nut to get that smooth shade smooth effect so first I try the bevel modifier which didn't work so then I will add the subdivision surface modifier in this case, the subdivision of this modifier works pretty well. Okay. So here, here our bolt is ready. You can see in this. Okay. Just give the proper name to each and every object. It will. It is helpful to know the object with its name. Okay. Then go to the extra mode. Insert the face and delete the face because we want their whole small and just we need to do delete the face okay because there is a whole small hole in the nut and we are going to connect the three objects together so that's why basically uh, actually you don't need to create it but for sake of convenience we are going to create it we are going to make the hole 
in the real life there is a to attach these three parts together okay that's the similar kind of hole i have created on this stand then you can see our metal piece is ready stand is ready and nut is ready okay you can see the reference images and try to achieve the desired result as you can see in the reference image now i need to create a lamp uh, lamp is bulb so take a reference image add it is the delete some part go to delete mode and delete some part and select that edge and start to extrude it along the reference image which is very easy and get that proper shape of this bulb electricity bulb yeah like bulb very sense bulb tungsten bulb Okay. Extrude and then seal it inside, and you will get this proper shape very easily. Okay. And extrude it a little bit, and then press F. Okay. And auto turn, auto smooth, then add a bevel modifier, subdivision surface modifier. Bevel modifier should be covered with subdivision surface modifier. Then add loop cuts to make those tight edges. Okay. There you can give the factor 0.9 or minus 0.9, 0.8 or minus 0.8 as you want. If you want more tight edges, then give the more factor. Okay. So it's very easy. Then insert this space, and there you go. Our bulb is also ready. And some more loop cuts to make it more beautiful design. Now the bulb will be decent. You can see. You can scale it, decrease its size, and fix it at its right place. Okay. And give it proper name, but for sake of time, so you can know very easy. Now I am going to create the last part of this lamp, which is the edge, top of the head, this last main part of the lamp. Okay. So now add a cylinder and two little spaces, then simple. Add a solidify modifier, increase thickness, then turn on auto smooth, then add a bevel modifier, point zero zero point is the amount. Then add a subdivision surface modifier on it. Okay, this is very easy, simple process. And here we have created the head of this our lamp. Now, how will we attach this head to our lamp stand? So we need something, and it is a ring. So how to create a ring? Add a circle, and then adjust the size. Under the okay, then extrude inside. You can extrude and scale it, and then select everything, and then one more time extrude it. Okay, and adjust its scale. Then add a subdivision surface modifier. There you go. I'm going to duplicate this uh, ring, but it is not necessary. We need only one ring. You can see. Uh, in the next part, that um, means within a few minutes. Okay. To see the process. Then add the 
because she can't tell me she's a simple person. Creating a such kind of brain is just a difficult task. same level of our mind and Symmetrize option, which is in the mesh option, okay, and symmetrize here. See our ring is down ready. We will see ring. And now all the parts are ready. Just fix those parts at the right position. That's the most thing. And you can see our lamp is pretty well looking decent. at the right position at the center but the lamp here is at not at the center so fix it at the center shift s 
then you will get that option and then select center cursor your cursor is need to be at the white origin and then you go you can see from the camera view okay 1080 by 1080 i'm going to choose the resolution right there and there you go our lamp is ready looking cool pretty decent so thanks for watching this tutorial Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you will like this tutorial. Stay with us and enjoy this kind of uh, tutorials. In the next part, we are going to do UV under lamp and uh, material lines means giving the texture of this lamp. Okay, stay tuned. Bye bye. Like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel.